What's up, y'all? Josh Stops here. Uh, welcome back to Torchbearers Pod. Tonight, we got a special edition of Rapid Fire Q&A with myself. You guys have been firing off the questions on social media. I know it's been a crazy year. You guys want to know the nitty gritty details about everything that happened. So uh, we're going to jump right into it. My boy Beach is with me tonight. He's going to ask the questions that you guys fired at me via Instagram. And I'm going to give you guys an inside scoop of what went down this past season. So let's get into it. All righty. Right off the bat, we've got a question from Anthony. Was there ever a time that you didn't know a play call or a check? And if so, what happened after the ball was snapped? Going into the Minnesota experience, right? Like, obviously, I got there on Wednesday and then had to play in the game on Sunday. So I knew everything that was on the call sheet and on the install for the game. So there was never a time where I was out there on the field and I didn't know something that was installed for that week. When you look back at the two minute drive, we had to go up tempo and in a two minute drive, there's a lot of situational ball that goes on and some stuff that's not in a game install gets called out there on the field. And so there's times where there were a couple of calls that came in on the headset that I didn't know what they were because it was a code name for a protection or a tempo call. And so what I would do is I would communicate it with the O-line and then either the center, if, it, if I thought it was a protection call or the running back was standing right next to me, I would ask them, hey, like, what does that mean? So we were able to get through most of it, but there was a lot of communication going on out there on the field. By far the most common question that we got this week is, what are your plans for the off season? So my plans for the off season, here's how it goes. The season ends, I usually take about a month off to just get rested and rejuvenated. I had to take an extra week this year just from the gauntlet that was put into throughout um, last season. Uh, but when the season ends, I take some time off. My birthday's at the end of January. I like to celebrate with my family and friends, get together, rest. I'm going to free agency, which begins March 11th. Uh, which will tell me what my future holds as, you know, what part of the country I'll be living in next year and what team I'll be a part of. We'll do some cool things with NASA, working on my pilot's license on the side, playing a ton of golf on the side as well. Um, so those are my extracurriculars. And then OTAs start third week of April, and then it's back to next season. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing what the future holds, man, but I'm enjoying where I'm at right now. Um, enjoying the off season, enjoying time with my friends and family, man, and and enjoying the process of continuing to improve, get better, and be ready to dominate next season. Tavian just left us a comment. I have alopecia, just like you. How do you deal with people making fun of you? Man, what's up, Tavian? Uh, welcome to alopecia gang. I got a lot of respect for everyone walk around the world with alopecia out there. Um, because, you know, sometimes you can be on the wrong end of some ignorant comments. You know, for me, you know, I control what I can control. I can't control my ability not to grow hair. I enjoy how much money I've saved on haircuts over the past nine years, not having to spend 45 minutes in a barber shop every single week. I mean, these prices are getting outrageous out here for barbers. Um, but in all seriousness, man, I just, you know, I, I have a lot of self-confidence in myself. Uh, I am myself and I just be myself in every single situation. I don't try to be anything that I'm not. So I understand that, you know, there might be some people that are unaware of what alopecia is or see alopecia and think it's something that they can, you know, um, as an opportunity to uh, make a joke about it. Um, but for me, man, I control what I can control. I am who I am. And man, at the end of the day, everyone's going through something. When you have alopecia, obviously a little more visible. So uh, people can see it a little bit more. When they can see it a little bit more, they can say more comments, both positively and negatively about it. But at the end of the day, if you have that true self-confidence in yourself, you understand who you are. You understand that your ability not to grow hair doesn't define the person you are and the impact that you can have on the world, man. That having alopecia is just part of your story and it's another way to impact individuals and lives across the world. All right, we're going to wrap this up with some rapid fire questions. What is your favorite fast food chain? Canes. Who's the best quarterback ever? Tom Brady. Were you a Hodges Library person or a study at home? <sighs> Hodges Library, man. I shut down the, the quiet hall, the fifth floor, and then finals, man, third floor, going crazy with the engineering questions. What is your favorite play call to run? Favorite play call to run? It was a play called Divide. We used to run it in Pittsburgh, man. In practice, I was dicing up people with that play. Ran a couple times in games, too. It's out there. Who are the craziest opposing fans? The craziest opposing fans are definitely the Cowboys. We played them in Arizona this past year. A home game for us in Arizona, and I think it was like 60% Cowboys fans. A year before that, we played them in Tennessee in Nashville right after Christmas. And again, I think it was, again, 60% Dallas fans are crazy. If you could have dinner 
with any two celebrities, living or dead, who would they be? Will Smith and Elon Musk. And last one, where can people buy the Astro Hats? Astro Hats live, astromerchpro.com. You can check it out on my Instagram, check it out on my Twitter. Check it out the Astro Dobbs page on Instagram as well, man. We got hats, we got Pastronaut tees, we got whatever you need. So make sure you guys go snag one. Thanks for tuning in for some rapid fire questions with Josh Dobbs. We'll catch you next week.